Hello everyone, my name is Jess and welcome to my show. Okay guys, welcome back to my channel. So happy and excited to have you here today. And if you are new, hi, my name is Jess. If you like home decor, DIYs, and projects on a budget, crafts, all of that stuff, make sure that you are subscribed to this channel and that you hit the bell to get notified every single time that I'm going to be uploading new videos. And guys, for today's video, I'm so happy because I'm going to be putting together all of my like lamps slash light pendants slash lanterns that I have been made throughout the years using the Dollar Tree supplies and I really like these DIYs they have a really high end look they are really easy to make really easy steps to follow and they are really on a budget so make sure that you watch all of these 10 ideas because all of them are really different and once you're done with that please let me know in the comments which of these ideas is one of your favorites I'm going to be reading all of your comments guys also remember to follow me on all my social media pages all of the links are going to be in the description box of this video in every single video so yeah let's get started I'm going to be using a Dollar Tree plunger you will need the wood stick and the plunger the first thing I'm going to be doing is to cut the wood stick with my saw machine in two parts the smallest part is the one with the three to feed the plunger and that should be about four to five inches long then i will use my drill and i will make a hole from side to side in the small wood stick and guys you can send these stick with a sanding sponge um i mean like the edges just to make them softer and then you can put the wood stick in the plunger In the long wood stick, you must also make a hole from side to side, but diagonally with the drill. This hole is a little bit difficult to do, um, but you must do it very carefully um, to make it look good. I'm going to put this long wooden stick on a base so for that base I'm going to be using this random piece of wood that I had in my stash and you can use whatever that you have at home just make sure that it has weight in order to place the stick on the top of the vase and make it strong I'm going to put a nail to what is the vase and then I put the wood stick and I finish hammering the nail and this way it is easier and it's going to be stronger place hey guys another thing is that I put this wood stick on one side um, to have a balance on the lamp at the end from there, I will paint the base and the plunger with my Waverly shock paint in black color. Once the paint dries, you're going to need a round dowel and I get this one from Dollar Tree. And first, I will place this dowel um, on the hole that has the wooden stick from the plunger. Then I'm going to insert the other end of the dowel into the other hole hole that has the long wood stick and guys something very important is to make the hole with your drill but the same size as the dowels that you are going to be using if you make them bigger you will probably have to put some type of glue on the dowel and your lamp is going to stay static and this one that I made, I didn't use any type of glue and you can turn and move the lamp and I just love that. You can paint that dowel if you want, but I just, I decided to put some yield cord around it um, to add another texture to my project and it makes my dowel look thicker. At one end, I didn't add the yield cord, I just painted with my shock paint with the black color super fast and then in the other end of the dowel I decide to put a bead that I already paint in black color. The link of these beads um, that I always use is going to be 
um, in the description box of the video. The light that I'm going to be using for this project is from Dollar Tree and it is a push light and I really love that. Um, it is white so I'm going to be changing the color of the edges in black paint. This push light already has a tape on the back side, but I just decided to put some hot glue on it just to make sure that it is stronger stock. And I really love guys how this push light looks inside of the plunger. Once I finished with that part, I saw that my lamp was almost all black and I didn't like it a lot, so I decided to change the color of the base. I'm going to be mixing some shock paint in mineral color and um, some wax in antique color to make the color that I really want. And I'm going to paint very carefully without painting the stick or the edges of the base because I want them to stay in black color. Once the paint is dry on the other side of the vase, you can place any type of decoration and change it whenever you want. And I'm going to be placing a bubble vase from Dollar Tree with some white stones and succulents. Guys, this will be the result and I really love how it looks. It looks super realistic and I only spent like $3 to make the lamp and it looks with a very high-end looking using Dollar Tree supplies. using this Dollar Tree sink mat that has a great pattern to do different projects and I really like it and I'm also going to be using a glass cylinder base from Dollar Tree. I want to cover this glass base with the sink mat so the first thing I have to do is measure how much I need to cut um, the sink mat to make it perfect for my cylinder base. To cut a perfect and straight piece of my sink mat, I'm going to be using my paper trimmer. It works amazing and I bought this one at Amazon and in the description box of this video, you can find the link of the same one that I'm using right now. Once you finish cutting the sink mat, I will be painting this piece using my Waverly shock paint in black color. I'm going to give it one coat of paint on each side of the sink mat and just to make the process a little bit faster and dry everything super quick, I'm going to be using my heat tool. Once everything is super dry, I'm going to be adding hot glue only on the edges of the sink mat because I don't want to make a mess with the hot glue and then I'm going to glue this sink mat to the glass vase very carefully to make it look nice and straight. Now, I really want to make a wooden vase for my cylinder vase because I want to give it some height and I'm going to be using these wooden blocks from Dollar Tree and also one of these wooden cubes from Dollar Tree too. And it is very simple guys, I'm going to be sticking four blocks on each side of the cube forming a cross. Then I will also be sticking another block on each side of the blocks that we already glue and this is what will give height to the base. To give it color to our project, I'm going to be using my Revely Wax in Antique color and I'm going to paint this whole piece of wood and then let it dry. 
once it is dry with my sanding sponge I will be sanding all the edges of the blocks just to remove the excess of wax and give it more dimension to our vase finally you just have to put your glass vase on top and then add a candle inside or maybe flowers or greenery and guys this will be the result and I really love this project I love the pattern that has the sink mat and how it looks in my vase and the colors and it is a very easy project to do. The first thing I'm going to use is this Halloween decor and you must remove the skeleton head above. From there, I'm going to cut that little piece of plastic that just stand out to provide a flat surface. Now, I will use these handcuffs that were left over from a previous project. I'm going to link down below and I'm just going to use the chain this time. So I have to cut and separate the other part. As you can see, it is plastic chain. It is not too strong, but it's perfect for this project. But you need to make a few changes because the chains open. So I will be sticking them with my E6000 or maybe your super glue just to prevent the chains from being left and stay much stronger. And then I will be placing it on this base that we just cut before. I want my lighting to be attached to the wall so this is the best way to place this then I decide to put a magnet um, from Dollar Tree as well on this part of the holder for two things first to help me that the chain is not going to fall and the second one is just because it gives a nice touch to this piece to paste it you can use E6000 or super glue and let it dry well for the light holder, you can use many things, just depending on the design you like. It can be maybe like this round box or maybe a plunger that gives it a very pretty shape. But this time, I decide to use this plastic Dollar Tree Margarita glass that I love. It has the perfect shape and it was what I was looking for this DIY. So this is what I decide to use. Um, so the first thing it is to cut the entire base of the cup. From there, with my Dremel, I will sand the glass, just trying to make like a gap or a cavity. And I know maybe a couple of you are going to ask about this Dremel. So in the description box of the video, I'm going to be leaving the link of where you can get it. This little gap or cavity will help me to better support the chain so I can hang it. I think this is the best option and it really works for me. I put my E6000 glue just to make sure that the chain and the cup are strongly glued together. And then I decide to use youth core and I begin to wind it around just to make it extra secure. I put fire very carefully to burn all the hairs that have the good cord and you must let it dry for a couple hours so that it does not going to break. When it is dry, this is how your farmhouse lighting is going to look. It's super strong and then um, I decide that I want to paint my lamp in black color. So I use my ultra matte black spray paint and I give him a coat of paint. Let it dry very well and then for the light I decide to use this LED light bulb that has battery and you can find this at Dollar Tree. For me this is the best option. I'm going to cut this little piece that has the light and then I'm going to put enough E6000 glue and I'm going to combine it with hot glue to dry it quickly.
one and it's dry to be able to place all the hanging on the wall I need to put a base to help me and hold better on the wall and I use this circular wood plaque it is from Michaels and cost me just a dollar so I think it is perfect but it's very ugh. It's very big maybe and it's not gonna fit on the on the plastic piece so I decide to send the wood in the size and the way I need and again I use my Dremel just because it is the easiest and fastest way as you can see it fits perfectly in my plastic piece but before pasting it I need to make a hole so I decide to use my drill but I don't know why I make a huge hole Oh, I don't know why oh my god then my hubby come to the rescue and made a smaller one which I could put a nail on it and it fits perfect so thank you so much baby and hey gives my husband a big thumbs up he's my hero thank you baby <laughs> from there I just hit it using my hot glue and my E6000 glue you need to verify that the wood is centralized and then I let it dry for a couple hours and guys this will be the result of my project and I left a natural color that the wood was bringing just because I think it looks very beautiful and it brings another texture to this project and I really love it it is my favorite and I feel very proud of how this project turned out of these six by eight inches um, Dollar Tree canvases. I only need the wood frame of the canvas. So I'm going to be removing the staples and the canvas fabric with my tweezers. From there, I will paint all the wood frames um, with my Waverly Waxing Antique color so that the wood texture that I like so much is still seen and then just let it dry very well. Now I'm going to be using this sink mat. I get it from Dollar Tree and I'm going to place the wood frame on the top so I can measure, mark, and then cut the sink mat the size that I need. For each mat, I can cut two pieces for each frame. So you need a total of two sink mats for this project. Once I have all the pieces cut, I will use my Beverly shock paint in black color. And I'm going to be painting all the mats on both sides with this paint and then let it dry. Then I will stick each mat on the back side of the wood frame and you can use maybe hot glue but just to make it stronger I'm going to be using super glue gel. My idea was to make a lamp so I will attach all the canvas frame forming a square with hot glue but without doing any mess with the glue. From there, I really want to create a vase for this lamp. So for that, I use these Dollar Tree popsicle sticks and I just paint them with the same color. Um, they were really waxing antique color, then let it dry. And once that part is ready, I'm going to glue them all together with hot glue just to create the base on the bottom of the lamp. Thank you. 
then just to give it some height to the lamp you can glue wood caps or these Dollar Tree wood crafts cubes um, I just paint them with the same wax color and then I glue one to each corner of the base of the lamp Finally, you can add a handle with some nautical rope, but this time I'm going to be using this handle that I just have it at home and I really like it. So I'm just going to put it on the top of the lamp. Inside of this lamp, you can put a battery candle and also some greenery that you like. And guys, this will be the result. I think this is one of my favorite projects and it looks super cute with a high end looking. It has a good size and it only cost me like five to six dollars to make. And you can decorate it as you like. using this Dollar Tree soccer disc cone and the package brings two but I only need one and I'm going to be painting this cone into different colors first on the inside I will be painting it gold with my spray paint and once that gold paint dries you can flip the cone over and you can paint the outside of the cone with spray paint in black color This is how your cone will look like once you paint it and it's dry. I want to make a fall industrial light pendant. So for the light, I will be using this Dollar Tree LED light bulb. And what I did was to separate it in two parts and I'm going to paint the lid in gold color too with my spray paint. Next, I'm going to need a ring and I'm going to be using this white piece of this tool roll that I just have at home. It is a perfect size for my light pendant, but if you don't have it, you maybe can use something like this, this cardboard part of a ribbon roll. I will also be painting this piece in gold color um, using my spray paint. Now we're going to be putting this light pendant together. So first I'm going to be placing the light bulb inside of the cone. Then you must place the ring inside the thread of the light bulb. This will work so that your light looks much better, but you have to glue it together so it does not move. So I'm going to be using some um, E6000 glue and hot glue to glue the ring together with the cone and let it dry very well. From there you can place the batteries in the light bulb and then you can put the gold gap on it and make sure that everything is secure and that it works. Now in order to hang our industrial light pendant, I'm going to be using these handcuffs that you can find in the Halloween section in Dollar Tree. And I'm only going to be using the chains, so I remove the handcuffs. These chains can be opened and closed and I don't want anything to open and just like fall. Also, I use my E6000 glue and hot glue to close each piece of chain and just make sure that everything sticks tight and that is going to be secure. Then I'm also going to be using this curtain ring also from a Dollar Tree and I'm going to be sticking it on my chain with hot glue. Um, this detail will help me to hang this piece anywhere. Once the glue and everything is dry, I will be painting this piece with my spray paint in black color. 
to stick the chains with the light bulb I only have to make a small hole in the chain with scissors or any knife this is a plastic piece so it is pretty easy to do Then you must use E6000 glue and hot glue so that these parts stick together strong and fast. Let the E6000 dry for at least 24 hours and then you can hang your, your fall light pendant. Once you finish, this will be the result of the project and I really love how it looks. Um, with a high-end looking and it turned out super budget friendly. For this next project, I'm going to be using this LED hanging lamp that I get from Dollar Tree and I love it. It looks super cute and it was just $1 which is amazing. So guys, you can leave the top in that gold color if you like it. I really want to change it a little bit and give it another color. So I'm going to be using my Waverly shock paint in white color and I'm going to give it about two coats of paint just to make sure that it covers well. And I also add some tape to the bulb just to make sure that it doesn't get any paint on it. Now that I have this part ready, I really want to make like a big pendant light. So I'm going to be using this garden dish from Dollar Tree. And um, I'm going to be using this because it's a perfect size for me to do this project. And first I'm going to be using this soldering tool. I get it from Amazon and of course the link is going to be in the description box. And I'm just going to be making a hole on the top in the center um, big enough to be able to put the smaller hanging light inside of this garden dish. With this soldering tool, it's super easy to cut this hole. Now, I want to give it a one coat of paint with this matte river rock spray paint color um, on the top and on the bottom to have like a base for my project. And like I did in the other project, I want to make like a concrete texture to these pendant light. And I'm going to be doing the same thing. I'm going to be mixing the mineral shock paint color with some baking soda. And I'm going to be adding that to this garden dish. I really want to make this like look super realistic. It's all about details, guys. So I'm going to be using a little bit of white color too to add to these to give it some kinds of like shades and more dimension. And also you can use a darker gray. I'm going to be using this one. I think it's the elephant color and I'm also going to be adding that. Another great tip that I found is that you can use the heat tool at the same time that you are adding the color with the baking soda and that is going to make that my dish have a very rough texture. I did the same technique on both sides of my or of my garden dish to make sure that this is going to have a very realistic look. It's, it's going to look like concrete. Now the brush is going to look so bad at the end because you are adding hot air, but it's okay then you can wash your brush and it's going to 
be perfect again. Now that my garden dish is extra dry, I'm going to be sticking the, the hanging light on the dish. I'm going to be using a little bit of E6000 just to make sure that it's going to stay strong attached. And I'm also going to be adding hot glue just to make the process a little bit faster. This is going to dry so fast and it's going to stay strong attached. Now you can see that you can turn on the light and it looks super cute. And I'm going to be adding now all the details. To be able to hang these pendant lights, I'm going to be using nautical rope from Dollar Tree. And I'm going to put it on the small system that the hanging light has on the top, on that small wire piece. And I'm going to make like a hoop and then stick some of the nautical rope to make like a, to make like a small knot. When I saw these, I think it looks great like that, but um, I don't know. I'm not sure about that small um, piece of wire. So I'm going to be adding a little bit of the youth cord that I have at home. I'm going to be rolling the youth cord to make sure that I cover the wire well. And then I'm going to put it back on my hanging light. And the final touch is going to be adding a little bit more of these rope on the inside of these pendant light just because um, I use my soldering tool and this is going to add like a like kind of weird finish so I'm going to be covering that with the rope and that will be all for this project. You can hang these pendant light on your kitchen, from the ceiling, from the wall, you decide guys. Um, but this is the result and I love how it looks. I think it has a really high-end finish. I love the faux concrete look and I think it looks awesome. You can find these in most of the store for like $100 or like $200. And this was so inexpensive to do and I love how it turned out. For this next project, I'm going to be using this stretch canvas mix pack that I get from Five Below. It comes with three canvases, um, three different sizes, and I'm actually going to be using two, the 8x8 eight eight and the 6x6 six six inches. Um, these are the perfect size for the project that I'm going to be doing right now. You can maybe use canvases from Dollar Tree, but they are going to have this rectangle shape. These ones are square and they are just perfect, so I'm going to be using this ones and I'm going to be removing removing the staples with this staple remover that I highly recommend because I'm only going to be using the frames on these projects. Once I have the two wooden frames, I'm going to also be using wooden dowels and I got these ones from Walmart but, but you can check at Dollar Tree because I'm pretty sure um, they have ones right now on the Crafter Squares section. I'm going to be using four of these round dowels and I'm going to start sticking them on the edges of the, of the bigger frame with hot glue. First, I'm going to start adding only two dowels because now I'm going to be sticking the other wood frame, the smaller one on top. I'm going to be sticking this with hot glue and I need to work a little bit fast um, because I need to make sure to put all of the dowels and make sure that they look straight with the canvas that is on the top um, before the glue dries. Remember that these two wood frames are different sizes so the dowels are going to be planted a little bit diagonally but it's going to look amazing once I stick all of these a dowel this is how it's going to look my lantern for the moment and I decide to make a base for this lantern and for that I decide to use these Yumbo popsicle sticks that you can get um, I get them from Walmart and I'm going to start sticking them on the bottom part of my lantern with hot glue
now it's time to add a color to these and I'm going to be using this wood finish stain in special walnut color I'm going to paint this outside and let it dry for a couple hours and once it's completely dry this is how it looks I love the color it has and now I'm going to give these a really cool look. I'm going to be using these bamboo skewers from Dollar Tree and I'm going to paint them. I'm going to be using some black paint because I want to make these have like a very modern look but you can use maybe any other color maybe white if you want or just leave them in the natural bamboo color once I paint all of them I'm going to dry these with my heat tool once I paint all of these bamboo skewers this is how they look now I'm going to start sticking them on my lantern and I'm so happy because these bamboo skewers are the perfect size for this lantern this lantern is going to be about 12 inches um, tall the size that all of the dowels and the bamboo skewers are and now what I'm going to be doing is to start sticking the bamboo skewers that I just painted in black color all around the lantern and I'm going to do that um, using hot glue I'm just going to add a small dot of hot glue on the bottom of each of the bamboo skewers and one small dot on the top where the small canvas is and I'm going to be doing the same to the whole lantern to make sure that I cover all of the sides Now for the top I think it needs something extra just to kind of like cover all of the dowels and those uh, like not beautiful parts of the lantern so I'm going to be using some popsicle stick I just paint them with the black shock paint and then I'm going to start sticking the four of these popsicle sticks on the top of the lantern and it's going to make these lantern look so much better. Now if you want to add a handle you maybe can use rope from Dollar Tree. I decide to use this um, handle from this old basket that I have. I think it's the perfect size and I think it's going to look super cool. I decide to leave it the color that it was and I'm just going to um, stick these with some drawing paints that I have at home. Next I'm going to be adding a battery candle inside of this lantern. Um, and then you can add some greenery around the candle just to make it look so much better This is like a very long garland actually and you can find the link of these in the description box of this video um, But yeah, this is how my project turned out. I think it looks beautiful amazing I'm just so happy with this project I have this idea on mine for a long time and, and I finally did it and I can be more happy with the result So I'm going to start my project using this terrarium planter that you can get at Dollar Tree and I like it because it has these like a bubble shape um, so what I'm going to be doing is remove that little hoop that has on one side and then I need to create another hole on this piece I want the bigger hole to go to look like down so on the top I need to make another hole and for that I'm going to be using my soldering tool this is one of the best tools that you can use to make holes holes on plastic and also to kind of like draw on wood once I did my hole this is how it's going to look and next I'm going to be using some nautical rope from Dollar Tree and this nautical rope is super thick so I'm going to be separating these in three long pieces and then I'm going to start gluing this rope around my planter and I'm going to leave the hole that I did on the top and then I'm going to basically just cover the whole planter with this nautical rope I'm going to be using hot glue for this but you can use maybe um, some dots of E6000 to make sure that it's going to stick well and it's not going to go anywhere. Once I finish this is how it's going to look and next I always like to use some fire to burn like the small hair pieces that protrude from the nautical rope and this is going to give it more like texture, color and it's going to look so much better. 
Next, I'm going to be using these lead hanging um, lamp that I got from Dollar Tree. I have these for a few months now. And if you have one, you can recreate this project so easy. What I'm going to be doing is like to remove the bulb and then I'm going to be covering the lights with some tape. Next, I want to change the color of these. I don't like the gold, so I'm going to be using some spray paint in ultra matte black color. And I'm going to spray paint this outside and then let it dry. This is how it's going to look. Next, I'm going to be using the bulb and I'm going to insert that through the biggest hole on my um, planter and then you can add the other part of the lamp on the top. You maybe can add some hot glue to make sure that it's going to stick well. Next, you need something to be able to hang this light. So I'm going to be using these. Um, I use these and I did these using Dollar Tree items and I have a video for that. I'm actually just reusing these and I'm also going to be using some chains from Dollar Tree. That you can find these mostly on the Halloween section at Dollar Tree. I'm going to be adding the chains and then I'm going to be hanging my lamp on the chains. And then you just have to add these to the wall and this is how this project turned out it was so so easy to make i love creating lamps using doll tree items and as i told you you can check the link of how i did the hanging system from this lamp in the other video so make sure that you check that video the link is in the description box I will be using this Dollar Tree glass bowl and it comes in a set of four I'm only going to need one for this DIY and I'm also going to be using a piece of Dollar Tree ribbon I really like this one it's supposed to be like cream color but I'm just reusing this one and I really like it because the unique design it has and what I'm going to be doing is to paint both pieces with my spray paint in metallic copper color Once the paint is dry, I will stick this hurricane vase on the top of the glass bowl that must be upside down to make it look like a vase. And to glue these two pieces together, I'm going to be using E6000 glue and hot glue. From there, what I'm going to be doing is to glue the piece of ribbon with hot glue between the hurricane vase and the glass bowl. Um, this is going to make our lantern look like a little bit better and that you cannot see like the union of both pieces. You can leave your project like this or you can add the details and I'm going to be gluing a piece of like a small stick and also a very small like wooden circle that I have and I paint both pieces with copper spray paint and this is going to basically be like a system to, to turn on your lamp so you most stick them where the piece of ribbon is. I really hope that makes sense but just remember you don't need to do this. This is like an extra, but I think it looks good. Finally, you can put a battery candle if you want, or maybe a real candle, and that will be good. of these Dollar Tree wood palettes and you can paint them the color you want or maybe use stain. I don't love using stain because of the strong smell it has but I want these to have the golden oak color in my project so I painted with this stain and then let it dry very well. Wow. 
then I'm going to be gluing the four wood pellets for me like a box and then to stick them you can use hot glue or maybe you can use wooden glue just to make it much stronger and let it dry. From there, I'm going to be using four popsicle sticks um, from Dollar Tree. These are the big ones and I'm going to also be painting them with the same golden oak stain color and then let it dry. I'm going to be placing these popsicle sticks on the top of these pallets, but first you have to like measure and then cut them to the correct size. Then you just have to stick them with hot glue or wooden glue on the top. You can leave these palettes in a single color or maybe you can paint them and create patterns or any design that you like. And I'm going to be um, placing these blue tape forming shaves, I don't know, um, just to make them look cute. And then I'm going to paint the bottom part with the same navy color and with a sponge. Once the paint dries, you can remove the tape and this is how it will look. You can make this same project and make it look like a vase and put flowers. I want this project to be a pendant wide. So I'm going to be using a round dowel and I cut it in half. And then I'm going to be using a Dollar Tree light bulb in black color and I'm going to be cutting the small plastic piece that they have for like hang things from there I don't know and I'm going to cut that to have a flat surface to be able to stick the wooden dowel in the center of the light bulb you can glue the dowel with hot glue or maybe like a stronger glue like um, super glue that probably works so much better and then I'm going to be gluing two small popsicle sticks with hot glue next to the dowel on the light bulb And finally, I'm going to be placing this screw hook on the other end of the dowel to be able to hang this light pendant later. Guys, I'm going to be painting everything in one color using Waverly Shock Paint in black color. Once everything is dry, you can place hot glue on the two popsicle sticks and then try to like pass the light bulb inside of the palettes to be able to stick them on the other popsicle sticks that you already stick on the wooden palettes. Um, I hope that makes sense and you can see what I'm doing. Once everything is dry, you just have to hang your light pendant. And I'm going to be using this piece that I made in another Dollar Tree DIY project. And in the description, I left that video just in case that you want to see that tutorial. And I just put it on the wall with a nail and that will be all. This will be the result of the last project. And I love how it looks it has a high-end looking and looks beautiful to place maybe in a room near to the bed and i just love it i hope that you like all these projects in today's video and please let me know if you like them with a big thumbs up that really helps to always support my channel and please leave me in the comments which of these projects was your favorite and make sure that you are subscribed and that you hit the bell and that you share this video with friends and family remember to follow me on all my social media pages my webpage jessamai.com and my youtube channel jessamai home all the links are going to be in the description box and as always i love you so much and see you on my next video bye guys